Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you because it is tarot time. Our collective read. So guys, listen. You know, we hope that you use this energy in a helpful, positive way for yourself. But we do have free will, so do whatever you need to do with it. All right? Now, let's hit this. Clear and ground for tarot time, please. Thank you. As above, so below. There is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective of tarot time. All right, guys, energy is fluid. I could be speaking about you or somebody in your energetic field. Show me the energy. Let's see who and how we're going to help somebody out there today. Let's go. Tarot time. Please and thank you, ancestors. Please and thank you. By the way, guys, thank you so much for joining us. We're sending you health, wealth, love, abundance, and prosperity in every freaking form possible to infinity and beyond. Now, let's go. Here we go. We have two of pentacles. So, somebody may have... Somebody's doing a balancing act. That's all there is to it, okay? Somebody, you know, they may have choices to make. They're multitasking. They're spinning plates. They're, you know, borrowing from Peter to pay Paul. They're getting themselves on solid ground. They're being resourceful, flexible, adaptable, and stretching their resources. Four of Wands. Nice. Okay. So, Four of Wands is Aries energy for some kind of celebration, some kind of excitement, some kind of community, stability, perhaps even a reunion. Okay, somebody could be getting themselves on solid ground for some kind of reunion, some kind of homecoming. Four of Wands is a beautiful energy. Show me. Show me. Now, you have an Eight of Swords. It came in right in on a shelf, so we have to acknowledge that. Somebody here is coming out of a time of some kind of mental conflict or feeling like their hands are tied or trapped in a situation or their back is up against the wall. Maybe over worrying, um, having too much anxiety or perhaps insomnia. It's the Eight of Swords. But since it's coming in on a shelf, someone is recovering from that, okay? It's self-imposed. So, like, you know, this would be like a worry ward, learning not how to worry about things that don't even exist anymore. Like, or at all, probably. What's crowning? What's crowning whomever this is? So, somebody started to recover from some kind of mental anxiety. Stress, stress, worry, and fear. Okay. Now, Crowning you, you got two of them. You got a new... Ooh, 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 man. You know, I was just contemplating whether to put this whether to put this up. But I'm going to have to now. Look what's crowning whoever I'm talking to. You have the fool. Aries energy for some kind of a new beginning, fresh hope in your life. Taking a chance. It's a new path that's opening up for adventure, freedom, some kind of travel, being spontaneous, and going after what you want. And it seems like with this Ace of Wands, this is some kind of passionate endeavor. This is lighting a match under somebody's ass, like I tell you all the time. This could be some hot new sex, right? It's just, it's something new. And whatever it is, like I said, it's giving you this new energy of enthusiasm. So it's crowning you. We have a lot to look forward to. Let's see what else is going on here. So what's coming in that we don't see? We have a lot of, we have Aries twice here, all right? Now, we have the five of wands in reverse. Somebody wants to reconcile. Somebody wants to come out of a time of conflict. Somebody wants to cooperate now. Somebody wants to get over all the baggage, bullshit, and drama that they created or somebody created. Could be more than one person, all right? It's the five of wands in reverse. It's about cooperation and peace now. <coughs> somebody could be 45 here or 48 or 55. 55. <laughs> all right, so let me see. Um, we also have 11, we have 11, 11, so that's like an angel code, it's not like an angel code, it is an angel code, all right, here we go, so how are you looking at this coming, this cooperation that's coming in, or this reconciliation, or this, you know, let's put the drama behind us, how are you looking at this, my querent, my inquiring mind that wants to know, all right, Show me, please, and thank you, ancestors. It's all right. Well, you're looking at it like, okay. You're looking at it with a very clear head. You're being very reasonable. You're using your head over your heart. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You could be looking at this person like they're being very reasonable. This is about a fair, disciplined energy that has a lot of integrity. Somebody who's very clear thinking, somebody, you're using your head over your heart for sure. Okay, you're not letting your emotions run away with you. This is nice. Very clear and balanced. Fair. Okay, you ready? Ba-bang! It's the truth. Get... 
Okay, so this has been coming out. I mean, everybody's confessing to stuff. I don't know. We're still in retrograde to the, about the 25th, I think. So that has something to do with it. Now I'm hearing that song, Freaks Come Out at Night. Freaks Come Out at Night. Somebody move. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just gonna, the truth is in the environment. Whatever that is, who's ever telling it, it's the Ace of Swords. There's a clarity here. You see something very clear, okay? It's some kind of victory. It's a breakthrough. It could be a new idea. It could be this new passionate beginning, like this is here, you know? Somebody's going to come and tell you this, maybe, that they want to come out of a time of conflict and have some kind of new hot sex, new enthusiasm in a relationship, right? No more fighting. Show me. Show me, please and thank you. What else? So we have a truth. Somebody really, okay, whoever this is, really thought clearly about this. You know what I mean? Like, they really put a lot of thought into this. The King of the King of Swords does not just do something without thinking about it. They think, 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 think first, and then maybe they'll do, maybe they'll do something. So, but this person, whoever's taking this action, tell the truth. God bless you. You got a lot of integrity. Now, here we go. You have a Seven of Pentacles. So, somebody might be very patient here or patiently waiting. Somebody here planted some kind of seeds, okay? Now, whatever those seeds were, they could have been the seeds of thought in somebody's mind. They could be, you know, some kind of a job. Seven of Pentacles talks about, um, you know, having patience um, and doing hard work, being very diligent because knowing that, you know, you will have um, a harvest one day. It will come to fruition, but we have to wait. And while we're waiting, we're tending to our garden and watering our bushes and trimming our bushes, people, you know, keeping everything on the up and up. While it's growing, now, I always tell you, Seven of Pentacles, you could be, you know, wondering about anything while you're in this state of, you know, waiting here. So, it could be, is the juice going to be worth the, squee the squeeze? Is, the, you know, the harvest going to be enough? Am I going to be happy with it? Is this what I really even want anymore? Why am I putting all this hard work into this? Whatever, whatever. So, I mean, somebody likes to salt and pepper their food a lot. You got the King of Swords now. The Knight of Swords. Okay, sorry. I thought, how could we have two kings in here? How could we have two kings in here? It's the Knight of Swords. See, all right, so somebody's coming to say something, all right? Somebody needs to articulate themselves. That's the Knight of Swords. It's information. It's it's a conversation. It's somebody having to maybe tell the truth about something because that's the sort of truth, all right? So this is somebody, like I said, who clearly thought about what they said. They're, they could be a little opinionated. They're focused. They're, you know, maybe a little bit of a perfectionist, maybe a little judgmental, but having something to say for sure. And I'm telling you what it is. Whatever this truth is, somebody might have patiently waited for some kind of opportunity to tell the truth here for this new beginning that's very passionate. What else are we doing? Show me. Whoa. That one jumped. Five of Swords coming out in reverse. See, this is what I'm saying. This is what. Whatever conflict there was, whatever um, issues that there were, if there was fighting, if there was some kind of hostility or some kind of tension or, you know, whatever it was, people want to, this is two cards of recognition. I mean, of um, reconciliation. What the hell's going on with me? Somebody's recognizing that they want to reconcile. <laughs> That's why. Somebody can be 55 here. So, uh, five, 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 of course, the board is healing any past trauma. It's also a connection to your fifth dimension. And while we're on the subject, your healing sound bath today is at 192 hertz. It's set at 192 megahertz. This is our throat chakra, people. It's a communication, self-expression, overcoming shyness, helps you articulate yourself better. It also will boost your immune system, so it will heal any throat ailments you may have, okay? The mantra is, I speak, I speak. Uh, the color is blue, and the element is sound. So, any blue crystals that you can find, blue halite, turquoise, aquamarine, blue lace agate. All right, anything else you want to say from this deck? There's a queen of cups at the bottom of the deck, so there's some love here. Show me. Anything else? Anything else? So, somebody clearly thought about, from a very level place, Expressing themselves about coming out of some time of conflict and perhaps reconciling here. Don't forget, like I said, we are in retrograde. That's when all the reconcilia reconciliations come back. In the meantime, somebody, you know, whatever they say, the swords was feeling like their hands are tight. At the foundation, somebody started to recover from that. And because they did, that gave them the opportunity to open up their mind to maybe, you know, make up after a fight or whatever this is. Now, whatever this is, it's gonna, like, so let's just say this is somebody that you were fighting with that, you know, you were in a relationship with. This is like making up and then starting over again, having new hot sex, something like this. Okay, so what else? Anything else here with these? Please and thank you. Okay, we have one more, guys, and that's uh, the Queen of Swords. Look at this. 
Look at this, the Queen of Swords. So it's a soulmate situation, okay? And you two, you two are going to have a really good conversation. To balance people that use their head over their heart. This could be, that's what I say, somebody from the past. Did I just tell you that? Somebody might be disgusted in the situation, but there is some kind of, somebody's watching somebody. And it's a new, look, you got three aces. I mean, what else do you people need over here, really? You got three aces and an end, an eight of pentacles. Look, that means it's going to be hard work and effort put in this. Some And an ace of cups. Holy shit, is that all four aces? All right, listen, whoever you are that keeps coming into my readings, you lucky son of a bitch, I'm going to tell you. Today you got four aces, look. All right? You got the ace of swords, the truth, about some kind of new solid beginning that's going to light a match under somebody's ass of happiness, enthusiasm, and passion, passion, passion. Right? And because it's also going to be love. Look at that. So this is another beautiful reading. For whomever. Now, like I said, this could be somebody from the past. Maybe you were disgusted with this person for a minute. But this is... Somebody's watching somebody to maybe send in some kind of a uh, upbeat little, you know, happy message that's going to make you laugh. This is going to bring fairness and balance into somebody's life. Yep, it certainly is. Look at this. It's a wish come true. Hope for your future. A gift from the divine. What am I telling you? Because it's the love is, right? It's the love is. Here comes the offer with the Knight of Cups. I mean, it is what it is, guys. You're going to have some kind of victory. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. Somebody's focused on a goal, and somebody's going to be happy as a pig and shit in about a minute. All right? So there's all that. Uh, you know, I was going to clarify with these, but we're not even going to do it. I mean, there's any sign that you want. You have Gemini, Libra. I mean, yeah, we do have Libra. We have Gemini, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. No. Yeah. I mean, it's all here. You pick it. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And I will tell you again, if you do not know your planetary placement, please go over to Cafe Astrology and put in the information for free and figure it out. Because a lot of times you are not resonating in your sun sign, especially during retrograde. Now, we're going to do this positive affirmation. At least say a positive affirmation for yourself. And if you can't do this much, say positive things to yourself about yourself. Right? Nobody else is giving you compliments. Give them to yourself. If you can't do that, when you wake up in the morning, at least say a couple things that you're grateful for. Even if it's just opening your eyes. I don't care what it is, all right? Because that sets the intention for the day. And then the intention is the attitude of gratitude, people. And we all have to lift our energy, frequency, and vibration so we can attract better back. Yeah, that's right, better back. I'm bringing in sexy back. So this is what I'm bringing back over here at Brooklyn Boy. I'm bringing better back. <laughs> Time for more Sumatra. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm telling you, we're bringing better back, better, better, best, come on, can I have an affirmation for somebody out there, somebody's eating apples, sliced apples, I'm hearing pork chops and applesauce, <laughs> all right, today I am grateful, did I tell you the attitude of gratitude, I'm telling you, today my heart is filled with joy, I see the positive in everything I do, and everything today, everything I do, everything I see, everything. Today I'm focused. I will be productive and feel good about doing the hard work that I need to do. Listen, you know, it's not easy to see the positive in everything, especially if something shitty happens and it makes you unhappy. But that's an opportunity too. It's all how you look at it, right? Let's get you some lettuce, right? And then let me just tell you something else. Rejection is God's protection. So if something doesn't work out in your favor, believe me when I tell you, it's probably for the best. Somebody's eating some kind of a sub, subway. I'm hearing subway. Look, <laughs> every damn day. Every damn day. All right, so here we go. We have the E's again. E. R N. Somebody's a nurse out there. Somebody's a dentist out there. Somebody's a fire department person. Look at this. Firemen. Ooh, they're hot. No pun, no pun intended. Somebody's riding a bus. Yep. Okay, so here you go. We have B-S-R-N-5. Yeah. I don't know if they have nurses at the fire department, but maybe maybe the guys at the fire department, they're eating subs today. God bless you. Subway subs. B-S-R-N-F-D, two E's and a U. Guys, we love you. Thank you so much. Listen, always remember, lead with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust to God because karma is real. Till next time, love, light, and laughter.